Alright, hi guys. Happy th uh, Tuesday. Wow, it's only Tuesday? So, um, alright, last night, um, I found three candidates. This, this little lamp from France that has literally a heartbeat like that of a crystal. Literally has a heartbeat like that of a crystal, only stronger. So I found that, I'm not sure about that one. And then these two stones, I know that's onyx, I think, I'm sure. Don't know for sure, don't know what this one is. And these two actually have a stronger, irregular heartbeat from an actual crystal. So these give off really slow pulses. These are heartbeats, and it's, it's pretty cool. And for some odd reason, oh, the coins, I've been collecting these coins. Odd, and I wonder if it's connected to Jin. I, I don't know, so I'm gonna find out. All right, Ganny, are you still there? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, f um, as far as the lamp, what? What is there? I mean, it feels like it's got a heartbeat, like uh, unlike a crystal. It's not a very uh, subtle pulse. It's more of like a rapid heartbeat. What's going on with that? <laughs> What's going on with the lamp? So the lamp is connected to the black stone. Yes. What's in it? G H U L. Okay, so the goldigen, they're connected to that, the lamp, and the black stone. Yes. Okay. T H E the uh, L <coughs> L uh, A M P. 
the lamb. I. S is. D. The lamp is D. A. R. K. Dark. The lamp is dark. A. N. D. The lamp is dark and. C. O. O. L. The lamp is dark and cool. L. I. K. E. Like. T. H. A. T like that. O. F of. A. T. O. B. Okay, so the lamp is cool, or it's the lamp is dark and cool, like that of a tomb. Yes. Okay, so that is why the gold, the gold to gin is connected to the lamp and the black stone. Yes. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm lost. Um, what do I do with it? B. L. A. C. K. Black. M. just like tranced out big time um I don't even know what you said what do I do with the lamp scanning scanning H E B L A C The black M I R R O R the black mirror E V O C a T I O N Okay, the Black Mirror Evocation Yes, wow, that was quick Okay Okay, so once I do the Black Mirror Evocation 
Um, we know it's a gold gem. Uh, what what should I do with the stone? P. L. A. C. E. Place. I. T. Place it. I. N. S. I. D. E. Place. Okay, so place the black stone inside of the lamp. Yes. Okay. Okay, um, C, L, E, A, N, S, E, Cleanse, T, H, E, Cleanse the L A M P cleanse the lamp A N D and S T O N E cleanse the lamp and the stone F I R S T Okay. Cleanse okay, so cleanse the lamp and the and the stone first. I might did polish it last night. What do I cleanse it with? I N V I Wow S I B L E Invisible F I E, cleanse, cleanse them with invisible fire. Yes. What, what is invisible fire? I. N. C. O. E. N. E, okay, incense, an invisible fire, incense, how they are created. The gym. Yes. Um, what about... Oh, what about the uh, green stone? D, Marid, J, I, N, N. Okay, Marid. So there's a Marid gin uh, attached or in the green stone. Yes. 
Okay, um, okay, yesterday I drew, well, this morning, um, I drew two cards. I got the Ace of Cups and the High Priestess. Um, what, the Marid, what are, what are they, like, I know the goal are, you know, common in cemeteries and cold and darker places. What about the Marid? W. A. T. E. R. Water. So they're connected to the water. Yes. Okay. Um, what should I do with the Marid? L E A N S E Cleanse W I T H cleanse with C O O L cleanse with cool W A T E R. Okay, so cleanse it with cool water. Yes. Okay. A N D and I. C E N S E Okay, so cleanse the Mered with cool water and incense. Yes. Okay, is there any particular incense that I should use? A G E Okay, Sage W O R Sage works. Yes, okay. Um, okay then, okay, now I kind of understand what you're getting at. Um, so what, what's next after doing that? A. W A K E N Awaken T H E M Okay, so awaken them. Um and I do have something to awaken them that a friend, you, you know exactly who, gave me. So is that the way?
Yes, okay. So what about um, like a, a housing or a specific, you know, special uh, altars or anything for the gym? The one that doesn't have a home, like a housing, which is the Marid? Why? Oh. <clears throat> you. You. Mm. A. W. Why may you may W. I S H wish you may wish T O two you may wish to C R E A T E, create, you may wish to create A B O X, you may wish to create a box F O R, 4 T H E for the M A R I D mm. So kind of like a divic box, a gin, like a gin box for the Marid, the green stone. Yes. Huh. Okay. Well, I can do that. Um, what about the coins? Do, do those have any s special significance uh, with the gin? No. Hmm. Dang it. Here, I thought I had really cool coins. I mean, they are cool, but yeah, they have no nothing to do with the gin, right? Yes. Hmm. How do you take care of them? T H B Y they A L L they all H A B E they all have T H E I are there they all have their O W their own L I K E S likes they all have their own likes A N 
D and D I S L I K E S. Okay, so um Okay, I have a little bit of information on their likes and dislikes. So, specific colors, offerings, candles, tea candles, that sort of thing, building a relationship with them and just kind of talking to them. Yes, okay. the black mirror will reveal more. Yes. Okay, that's what I plan on doing. Okay, W. R. I. T. E. Right. E. V E R Y Every Write every T H I N G Write everything Okay, so just make sure to write everything down. Because it's very difficult. Yes, it's, yes, it's very difficult to have the black mirror going and <coughs> trying to write stuff down um, with what I see. So, huh. Did, did Were the gins in there the whole time that I've had these? So we can actually build a, a, a relationship together and work together. Yes. Huh. That's a really cool. I really like that. Hmm. Okay, I think... Yeah, I think I, uh... I got this figured out for right now. Um, I'm not 100% sure. But I will just do what you said for now and then kind of wait, wait and see what they have to uh, offer. Yes. 
Okay. T H E Y A W I L L They will B E C O M E they will become V E R Y very A C T I V E they okay they'll become very active yes uh -huh. I like this I really like this and I can't wait to get started now. will they send me um, downloads of information like you do yes Well, thank you for coming through and answering that very much. I'm very, very, very happy. So, um, I love you with all of my heart. I'm, I'm going to say goodbye for now. And I will definitely talk to you later on today. So, I love you very much. Thank you so much. It's incredible. I... O V E U <laughs> 2 Oh, I love you so much, I miss you Alright, thank you, Candy Alright, so, I don't really remember. Wow, that was the first time I've actually kind of zoned out like that. Alright, so there are Jin in these two stones. The black one's connected to this one. Nothing to do with the coins. So it's just these three. That's really, really interesting. Huh. Alright guys, give me one sec and I'll be right back. Maybe. Alright, here we go. Be right back. Alright, hi guys. Wow. Am I short? There. No, I'm too short. Okay, fix this. There we go. Okay, that was pretty interesting. Um, what the fuck? I'm having a really hard day. Really hard two days. So yes, you guys know that it's... I've had problems with drugs and alcohol and it's really difficult. Um, these past two days, and I don't know why. It's just been very, very, very hard. To the point where I'm, like, profusely sweating. Like, you're gonna have, like, onset adult diarrhea on the beach, and people see you, and you're riveting sweat like a rapist, and it's ridiculous. It is stupid. I'm too old for this. So, anyways, what was I saying? First, thank you to uh, my amazing brother. Do you know, Frank? Thank you for, for talking to me, for getting me through things, for telling me, you know, the consequences and reminding me of the consequences of, you know, of 
actions I would take if I acted on those impulses. And one deep breath at a time, every second of every minute, or the other way around. But anyways, so yeah, I'm just craving, craving. I hate it. I fucking hate that. So I'm gonna eat more, so I will be nice and ripe and plump for the feast. No, I'm joking. But no, no about the food, yes, definitely, definitely. So, odd, really odd session. You can't find good information out there about gin. It's nowhere to be found. You can't find it on the internet, and you can find everything on the internet almost everything, but you can't find gin information. Um, thank you, my Virgo Queen, for sending me those links to Awaken, and then telling me how to, uh, kind of tell if there is, um, a gin or a spirit inside of said object. So, I held it, and perfectly normal, you know, clear awareness last night. And this. I don't know why this popped out. That just popped out at me. No idea why, and it's from France. Do you know why I know that? Because of the sticker. Franc, francs, 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 whatever they're called. So this one, when I hold it, actually has like an irregular heartbeat. <laughs> I think it's got a heart palpitation, maybe. No, I think it's more of a heart murmur. So it's, it's, I have a heart murmur. Oh, so yeah, um, evidently that one was, what, she said, the gold gin? So I really like that. And then I don't know if it's black onyx or not, because it does have the white. So it's got a white slit, or sliver. Yeah. So she said that that is onyx, yeah, or hematite, I'm not sure. So she said that was connected with the lamp for the gull, because they're darker, they like to be in darker places, cool places, maybe, and then this is the Marid, is that how you say that? So I, I had a feeling about this one, and I can actually feel the energy of this one just by going like this, I can feel the heartbeat in the palm of my hand, it's so amazing, so I don't know. I just have to figure out names, um, offerings, likes, dislikes, what to do, all that stuff. But yeah, I can possibly totally see a gin living in there. And now I understand what she meant by the black mirror. That's where I kind of went completely. Like, it was like just a flash of like darkness. To where it was like, whoa, I tranced out almost. I haven't done that for a year, a year or two. So yeah, it's pretty in interesting, pretty cool. But yeah, I'm just very excited about this. I don't know why my obsession with the, the gin has become so incredibly here, uh, dominant, so very neat. Very neat. So, alright. Oh wow. Alright. So, let's do some coffee talk. I'm just wowing my comments or something like that. I don't know. Alright. Hmm. So I wonder if a special table for them, or a special area, or if they can just be like with every other spirit? I don't know. So, okay. Hello everybody. Tomorrow's the full moon and I posted it in the, uh, my YouTube thing. So you guys have the link. You guys know what's going on. So. Um, 
I wonder if the djinn can tempt you into doing stuff. I don't know. Alright. <clears throat> Jen's hack. Hi, my love. How are you? Take us down the rabbit hole with you, Rai. I love you. I love you too. Um, I'm not going that far down the rabbit hole. But not that far. I'm gonna stay probably just around the top of the rabbit hole. Alright. My Jody Sims. Hi, my love. Yes, they can be attracted to your stones. All Jijin races have crystals they love more than others. Okay. Marid. Jin love raw emeralds. Okay. Oh, whoa, and that's kind of a greenish. Oh, that's creepy. Yes, they can tell you about the past, present, and future. They can help you open your third eye. Mine's open. They can also teach you magic. Some can live much longer than 8,000 years. Wow. I would love to live that long. No, I wouldn't. The longer they live, the more powerful and knowledgeable they are. Anything to scare people away. I have noticed that a big time, and it's so stupid. I, it, it's, it's really stupid. The more negative information I read about them, the more I want to see for myself. Exactly. Yes, the bonding is accurate. It's exactly how Ganny said to do. Just a lot of confusing information that I decided to throw away and go on forums find out what others that own vessels have to say. That stone is incredible. I love you to pieces. You will figure out I believe in you. I love you to death. <laughs> I do. I'm so glad I found you. You found me. I don't know what happened, but yeah, it's been great. It's been really, really great. So, the Marid and the green emerald. I know it's not an emerald, but that would make sense now. So we are getting down to information. Or we're getting down to, uh, yeah, narrowing it down. So, all right. Uh, Netheria Fade. Hi. I found it difficult to find information as well. You are doing a lot better than I, I did. I am impressed. It's hard. It's really hard. I mean, just go to Google and type in how to work with the gin. All you get is, like, millions of pages on Islam and how the Djinn are evil, which I do not believe whatsoever. So, it is difficult. Very craziness. All right, Marjorie. Hi, my darling. All right. Uh, sorry, I missed your live stream. Love your eyes. They are so cool. Heart, heart, heart. I love you. Thank you so much. All right, Genzak. Love this video. This is so interesting, and I knew it. I said it before. It's always the churchgoers who are the ones that get possessed. You don't hear of people that aren't religious becoming possessed. You don't. It's a condition. Um, it's a state of mind. It really is. So. The exorcism of Emily Rose when they're on trial with that doctor. Uh, she is. Uh, she studied possession around the world. She. That's actual real information. If you do a little digging, um, the possession state is a natural human uh, experience. So, um, it's, I don't know, from what she said, it's something that we have to go through, um, depending on you, what you're brought up in, your religion, your faith, all plays the biggest part of it. So, if I was raised to think that I was going to become possessed, I probably would have been possessed already, and exercised 2,000 times to be, you know, just, just to be safe. <laughs> no clue. But yes, I love it. All right, uh, Jen Zach, this is an interesting subject. I'd love for you to do like a series on it. Oh, the Dijin, I am working on it. I am building up the information slowly, and I am definitely, definitely. All right. Um, Maria Renteria. Renteria? You're so beautiful. Lots of love, darling. Thank you, my love. All right, Lily Moon. Hello, Jen Zaska. Commented on your photo. Hi, my Jen. I love you so much. Thank you for inspiring me to do my crystal grid again. All right, Lily Moon. Hello, Dr. Oates. Hello. All right, Russ Chamings. Shout out, Marjorie. Hello. The hell. All right, uh, Naomi C. I love your video. I love you, Ryan. Oh, I love you too, very much. 
Your videos are amazing, and I have learned so much from you. You inspire me to keep going with my occult studies and further my knowledge of the metaphysical. Thank you and all. That makes it all worth it right there. It does. Uh, John Hirsch, how are you? My chocolate sundae. Madame Sophia, I love you so much. I miss you. All right, uh, Lucy Trigras, the Oracleless. Oh, that's Spanish, and I'm totally screwing it up. Thank you for your comment. <laughs> I'm sorry, my Spanish is. Yeah. Um, a, a Riona Watmug, Moog. Oh my God, you're obviously moving it, bruh. Uh, you need to learn proper fucking English, dude. I hate when people can't even spell. And you're from America, aren't you? So it figures Americans can't do shit. Trash Raven, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Such is life. Oh my god. Your visit is coming. You're gonna be here. Soon. I mean, soon. I'm excited. I can't wait to give you a hug. Oh my god, I'm never gonna let you go. Okay, May Queen, big fat yes to a ritual. It's in the comment or the post section of YouTube, my YouTube. I did it this morning so you guys all have an idea of what we're gonna do. Alright, Kate the Witch, my wicked witch, love you both. Jessica Andrews, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Sue Owl, hi love. Emerald Ray, hi. Queenie Todd, I love you. Ah, my Kinder Raven Moon, I love you so much. I want to talk to you. Jethro, Jethro. Sushi. Sushi. Ah, Sarah K. 220, hello. <clears throat> Devin Zachary. Hello. Shout out. Wow. Um. Erica Stone, hello. How are you? How are you? Witch of the Black Rose. Hello. Raven Moon Tarot. I still can't get over your hair. I love it. I do. Robert O'Donnell. Hello. Mm -hmm. uh, G-C-A-L-M. Hello. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, I think I have some uh, work to do for the Dijin. Hopefully everything goes... Why did I not use that fucking board right there, the Swami board? Why the fuck did I not use that? I should have. Yeah, the hair color is definitely, definitely a sign. <laughs> Too much bleach. Alright guys, but yes, tomorrow's the ritual. Tomorrow's also the spring equinox. So, um, I'm very excited for that. Well, actually, it's the 21st, but close enough, so. Alright, guys, yes, um, I have stuff to do, so I will see you all tomorrow for Witchy Wednesday. I love you all with all my heart. All the way from Venus. All the way back down. What's up with this weight gain? Alright, I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Everybody have a good day and be safe.